Welcome to another unit in this Excel course. This time I'm going to talk about how I can use the Excel people graphs to illustrate data in a bit nicer fashion than with a standard chart. So here I have data for five different cities. In the end, it doesn't matter what I want to display. These are just some random values. And if I want to display this, I can go to insert and graphs but I'm not going here to the chart. I'm going to the left of this and down here, this small thing is the actual people graphs. So first, when I click here, in some case it automatically recognizes this. Here at this point, sorry, I have to give it the title. So values for cities, for example, select my data, go with create, and then I see here I have the corresponding representation for the different cities. I can go with the typical people graphs as shown here or I can use different types of people graphs, different themes or shapes. So instead of people I could also use something else like stars. And I see that the highest value is in London Paris, and then so on down. This also applies for different other icons. So here, this is more or less the shape part, are the different types of icons I can display. Whereas the theme, that's more or less the colors coding I can use for this. And the type is how the general outlook looks like. So it's more about background, foreground, and here, the style I use for my title. So that's mostly how I use those people graphs. I use icons, I use illustrations to get a better grasp of my data, which I use here. And well, that's then already all there is to this people graphs. It just allows us to use a different way for representation of data. Well, this was relatively short, straightforward. I hope you still enjoyed it nonetheless. And if you want to see more, either on generating graphs, diagrams with Excel, or on Excel in general, feel free to visit the rest of the course or have a look at the corresponding playlist. I say goodbye and see you next time.